Hi, this is Allison Malika. On behalf of Apps Events, I would like to share with you the steps to allow Google Classroom to be truly accessible from and to other domains. There, when Google Classroom uh, was, it was announced that you can now share with anyone and anyone gets access to it. Hurrah, hurrah. Um, the, the tiny detail that was left out for many, many folks was that it does require some action on your admin's part. So if you tried it and it didn't work, you might have been dismayed and thought, oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? I don't have time to figure out what it, why it doesn't work. I'm moving on. So let me just dispel that myth that it doesn't work. And I'll show you how uh, to set up your domain uh, to make that happen. So if you have a Google Classroom, if you go to the About page, you can, let's say, want to invite other teachers or students from a Gmail or um, another school. And I'm gonna use teacher, for example. I have a teacher here with a Gmail account that has been invited and can access uh, my classroom through Gmail. So I wanna invite another teacher, teacher to work with me. And so I, I start typing their name and I'm going to add them and I find their account and I click on invite. And then you get this error message that says I can't invite this person. And the reason is because her school doesn't have the settings set up so that's possible. So if I knew her Gmail account, I could invite her because, and she could accept because uh, I have my domain set up so that anybody with any type of Google account can join um, or I can join their classroom. So let me walk you through the steps to make that possible for adding teachers or students that are outside your domain. First step is that you or your admin needs to go to admin google.com that's where they log into the admin panel and head over to the apps uh, classroom is part of the G suite so you click on the G suite and select classroom when you get there uh, you have general settings and teacher permissions and there is a tab for class settings you want to click on that uh, that's for how you manage class enrollment with other domains and that includes students and uh, co-teachers so under class settings, um, by default, it was always set to users in your domain only. Um, a while back, Google upgraded it so that uh, domains could whitelist each other. So you can certainly whitelist you know, uh, another domain and just limit it to that. Um, but if you wanna be able to open it up so that anyone using um, Google, Gmail, G Suite, can access, you can, you can invite them as teachers or they can be students, you wanna select any user. So who can join classes? Any user. Which classes uh, can your users, uh, users in your domain join? Any G Suite class. So you basically set it so that if somebody makes a classroom in your domain, anyone can join. And if anyone has a classroom somewhere else in the world, they can join. Um, and, you may not, you may decide to set your domain up differently, but this is how you set it up if you want it to uh, work seamlessly. So now that that's done, you just, uh, you'll be prompted to save and then your domain will be set up to allow access from others and those in your domain will be able to access classroom. All right then, thanks for watching and good luck.